What's up guys, it's your boy Wolf and I'm bringing you a last Epoch video today. After the D4 beta, I was looking for another ARPG to play. There's a bit of time before the new PoE League starts next Friday, as of when I'm recording this video. So until then I thought, let me give last Epoch a go. I've been playing this for a couple of days now, um, and I'm a complete beginner to the game. Didn't know anything about the game, its systems or how it works. So I was looking around for a guide online, trying to find something easy, something fun to play. I found out about the Werebear. I wanted to play the Werebear. I'm a huge fan of shapeshifter archetypes, but I didn't want to play the Cold Dot Werebear, which is the most popular build I've been seeing around because the playstyle just wasn't my kind of thing. But I did find the Swipe Werebear. Um, if you want to try out this build after watching this video, I'll put a link in the description below. It's on Max Roll. It's by a guy called Lizard. Um, really knowledgeable guy. He's got great guides on Max Roll to some builds. So I've been following his build for this Swipe Werebear um, and I just wanted to show you what it is and how it works and how much fun I've been having with it. So let's go straight into it. Passives, I'm not going to go over every passive in great detail. Um, mainly you just uh, you can pause it and screenshot and copy these if you're doing this. Um, but you want to take Harmony of Blades definitely because you want the dual build to equip swords in your offhand taking 23 points in our Beastmaster, mostly for defensive stuff like Aspect of the Boss and Strength. Um, and then the rest of it is going into your Druid Tree. And I've pretty much almost completely maxed this out. I just need, I'm um, level 95 right now. I just need the last five points to level 100 to put over here into Hide Skin. But the rest of it is pretty straightforward. You've got some Attunement, you've got Attunement and Strength, Endurance and Armor of Defensive stuff. You've got Attack Speed, uh, more Strength, You've got Rage and Crit Chance, Rage on Crit. So, pretty straightforward tree. The big meaty part of this build comes from your skill tree. So we'll go over the Werebear tree first. And again, I'll just explain the most important nodes. Pathing down here for Insatiable, for the global increased crit chance, because this is a crit build. You're working your way here, Frenzied Strikes, you really need this. It's a crucial one for Rage on Hit. Helps us sustain our Rage and um, keep this a permanent Werebear form build. And then Ursine Storm for a chance to cast Maelstrom when you swipe or maul and hit at least one enemy. And I'll explain in a second why this is really important. And then we're also passing down here for Skull Crusher. So your Fury Treep now applies to Maul, which is one of the abilities you get in your Werebear form. Next, we'll look at the Maelstrom tree. In Maelstrom, we're passing this way to get Wind Fury and Wind Swept, where when you've got six stacks of Maelstrom or more, you gain Haste and Fury, which gives us move speed from Haste and attack speed from Frenzy which for a melee swipe build, especially the attack speed, very, very important. We're also taking this chill down here, just a single point for a bit of chill chance. And, um, and then we're passing down here to Cyclone, where that chill chance is going to get converted to slow. And your cold damage from Maelstrom gets converted into physical, and you get global increased physical per Maelstrom, per Maelstrom stack. Um, but it can no longer freeze. We don't care about the freeze. We're not too fussed about that. But the slow is huge and the physical damage per Maelstrom stack is huge and I'll explain that in a second when we go over the swipe tree but this is a big node for us but also each stack of Maelstrom grants you increased chance to stun enemies which is a great defensive layer to have as well because you get so many stacks you just permanently stun enemies you interrupt boss attacks you interrupt um, like elites and things it's a great defensive layer to have and offensive at the same time we're also coming up here for Power of the Storm and then Energized for while you have six or more stacks, which you always pretty much have because you're trying to maintain your Fury and your Haste and your friends in your Haste. You have Strike a nearby enemy with Lightning each second and then Strike additional targets, which is really nice to have for some additional damage on top. Next, we'll go over Warcry. We use the Warcry tree because this benefits our Roar ability while we're in whip, um, Werebear form. So big ones here is Juggernaut. This is for one point away from base, basically, for your first point. I can't stress how incredible this point is. Invulnerable for one second after using Warcry is so good for dodging um, the boss attacks and things like shades and things. You can just pretty much stay in melee range the whole time. Just stay on top of a boss attacking them and you take no damage whatsoever. Anytime you use this um, Warcry... You can dodge major mechanics, major attacks, because you're, for a split second, invulnerable to any damage after you use it. So if you time this really well, it's huge. It's a complete lifesaver. Then we also come down here to Whirlpool. 
This is another next big important node on here. You cast Maelstrom when you use Warcry. Maelstrom's cast this way costs less mana. So you get four stacks on in use. And then you're also generating it when you swipe or maul. So it helps us very quickly get to our six stacks that we want to get our Frenzy and our Haste um, and our Lightning damage here. Um, then the other important nodes are Berserker over here. So Berserk is a buff that you get, that grants you additional melee damage. And it stacks up to 10 times from this node. And then from here you get an extra three stacks and some duration. And what it does is it gives you melee damage per stack and then with this node fury strikes and now also gives you attack speed so it's really nice to have just to build up even more attack speed and more damage to chunk enemies and chunk them faster we also want to come up here and grab apprehend warcry now pulls enemies in instead of knocking them back it's really nice to group things on top of you to hit them with these aoe swipes and then we're coming all this way to shallow breath for the shorter cooldown we also take Fury Leap because as you know from our Werebear tree we've got Skull Crusher so this Fury Leap now benefits our Maul. We're grabbing Frenzied Onslaught to get Frenzy when we land with a Maul. We've got Hero Protection for immune to damage while you leap so you can jump into a pack and you don't take damage while you're um, using the Maul. And then we're coming over here to Gravity for Fury Leap also pulls enemies when you land so you can rampage towards a pack, jump into the middle of it with a Maul and it pulls everything in. Then you can start swiping and then as things get added to the pack you can just use a raw gain some defensive power with the one second invulnerability pull things in further keep up your maelstrom stacks etc it's really nice just everything just cycles itself so well and then finally quick look at the swipe tree we're coming up here um, that's hit damage and leech leech is nice damage and area culling is huge 14 percent kill threshold so great on things like bosses and shades um, dungeon bosses things like that when they hit 40 percent health they just instantly die so it's really nice for something that does slowly just burn things down um, it's really nice to have that kill threshold there and then you've got a more damage multiplier of 60 percent against slowed enemies which is why we have the slow chance chill conversion to slow from our maelstrom because with slow we're now doing 60 percent more multiplier damage against them then we come along this way and this is basically we're converting our with Stormclaw and Umjol's Guidance we're converting our swipe damage into lightning so we're stacking a lot of physical and then converting all that physical into lightning um, and then we get lightning penetration per attunement which is really nice to have which is why we have attunement from our passive points um, because right now I believe I have yep, so 19 attunement so right now from here I have 38% lightning penetration and then we've also got lightning damage per shock which we stack really quickly and easily and cold damage per chill we don't care much about the cold damage but this lightning damage per stack of shock is huge so that's the skill tree over there i'm level 95 and i'm starting to run into more of the problems now that you find with this build which is that it's very stationary because you do just run up to something and start attacking and while you're doing that you you can't move so if something is standing far away and is throwing like one shot abilities at you you almost have very little chance to escape which is quite annoying but other than that it's actually quite fun to play and is really good against bosses i've just reset this um to 230 corruption so i don't have any bosses that i can showcase but i will oh i might have a, a shade on another map we can check but i'll showcase at 200 plus corruption um a random mono in empowered just to show you how this performs um, so really you're just running around rampage into things stand still and attack and then when you find good density so something like this war cry pulls everything in and then just burn things down with your attack and you'll see that we have so much shock and everything on him he's permanently stunned so he's not even getting a chance to actually attack me so again war cry pulls everything in and then just burn things down quite simple quite fun okay so now we know where the the, the gate is just come here so, so especially for objectives like this you can stand here in the middle war cry pulls everything in in between you can use your maul as well that also pulls everything in burn things down like that Let's, things like this they won't come to you so you will have to run up to them you run up to them then use your war cry get your maelstrom stacks going 
do the same here. Warcry, get our Maelstrom stacks going. See, so something like that is something we want to run away from because we have very little time to dodge. So on this map mod, it's not got anything too crazy, so I actually survived that. But on map mods where you have, if not damaged, then they're deadly, that thing can actually one-shot you, which is the one sort of struggle that I have with this build, is you have to be really careful. But the moment you're trying to be careful and dodge attacks like that, then you're losing your stacks of Maelstrom and Berserker, and then suddenly your damage has dropped off, which is the only real problem with this build. But otherwise, it's really quite fun and simple to play, and you see just you burn things down so quickly. All right, so we're here at a shade. I didn't have anything higher than 120 corruption, unfortunately, to show you. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite simple. Playing against a shade as a swipe wire bear, all you do is you stand in melee range, you pop your roars, and then you just keep attacking, and you, you leech. do a lot of leech, um, you run away from some mechanics. And you just keep swiping. And you do so much damage, you just slowly burn him down with your crits. And you leech and you stun, so you can keep interrupting his mechanics. And then when they do appear, you just dodge. So you're just gonna stand there. So you can almost you can almost face tank some of these mechanics because you're just leeching all the damage that he's doing. And it's really simple. You just stand there and you just burn him down through all the mechanics. Okay, so we're gonna run away from this one again. Then we're gonna pop our roar again, stack our berserk buffs, our maelstrom, and then we're just gonna burn him down again. The face tank the poison because it's all right and eventually he's going to hit 14 percent and then pop there he dies and it's that simple it's really really easy to play against shades with this build which is what i find so fun about this build um but yeah that's pretty much the build in a nutshell guys um again i'm gonna have the link in the description down below to the max roll guide for this build um hopefully you enjoyed it let me know if you give it a try um, drop a like on the video if you like this kind of content, there will be more, hoping to bring you maybe one one or two more Last Epoch builds before the PoE link League next week, and then I will be bringing out loads and loads of PoE content, probably do a video just before the League to showcase what I'm planning on playing for the League, and then we'll probably do some kind of build diaries and uh, map clears and boss fights and things as we go, um, but we'll figure that out as we come to it. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, unleash anything you have to say in the comments. I will be reading them, I will be replying. Um, and that is it from me for now. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.